Hi and welcome to another video here. Today we're going to be showing you how to back up the R7000 Nighthawk from Netgear, which is a router that can have a flash router custom firmware put on it. It's going to run in advanced Tomato, but it could also use DD Works as well. So let's get into it. So the first thing you need to do is log into your router. Mine's on the default IP address, 192.168.1.1. Log into your router. So on the left-hand side here, you're going to need to go straight to administration, and then you're going to need to come down and find configuration. Click on configuration and you come up with these options. You've got backup configuration, restore configuration, and run the default configuration. Under here, you can restore default router settings. We can erase all the NVRAM here as well. And we're not going to do those today, but you could do that and put it back to the default settings if you had, say, for instance, messed around with some VLANs or some firewall settings. So to back it up, basically all you do is click that version there and you click backup. It'll warn you here for Windows. But it's going to maybe do some central harm. Click keep. You'll download it to your Windows download folder. In the folder there, downloads, you'll see that configuration. This is the one from today. That's the configuration backed up. If you copy that folder to anywhere off site, say for instance, you just need to um, ensure that you can get back to it to be able to put it onto the router and keep it safe. So if you restore the firmware, basically you browse to that file. Click OK and you click restore. You'll click OK to say, are you sure? And then now it will reboot the router and I'll put the custom firmware settings back on for you. During this reboot, the router will lose connectivity, so you won't be able to surf the internet. So something to bear in mind that if anyone else is using the connection, they'll have a slight blip for about 60 seconds while it puts the custom configuration back on for you that you've restored. Once it's finished, it will put you back to the main screen for the overview and that's it. Your configuration should now be as you expect to see with all your VLANs or firewall settings that you'd backed up if you needed to restore the router. So if you like this video, hit the like button. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do anything else, for instance, some VLANs or anything like that. And until then, I'll see you again. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.